I wonder. I think I found Dave the Wave. Look, Jonathan Cleck. Jonathan Cleck, Robin Hood, Dave the Wave. Does this does this um, remind you of something about what Jonathan Cleck says? About your uh, your crypto buddy. Look, so with Dave the Wave, short for like King David, Stephen James, Sean over there, and his buddy, his good crypto buddy, Jonathan Vargo Cleck. I like how he acts like, I like how everybody acts like they don't really, they don't, they don't really know the person over there, but, but they do. And then it's like WWE wrestling. House of Cain. And if you think I am, well then, you are correct. Including Robin Henry Tease. And we all know that everything that's attached to Robin is of the devil. Okay, because he's beast. Beast. Maybe that's why Robin was trying to draw me away from crypto and so that I wouldn't study it. Because once I concentrate on one thing and I start... Well, like $50 bill, 70 JFK. Studying one thing, I start to figure out the deception. You know? So, <laughs> Robin, Robin, who's holding a big bag of XRP, he's also holding another one. I don't know which one it is, but uh, it could be stellar. Super. Because Stellar equals Lucifer, light bearer. Okay, they use these names and they use Gematria. You see, what's, see what, do you understand what I'm saying? They're taking it from one, they're robbing Peter to pay Paul. Okay. Robbing Peter to pay Paul, in a sense, okay? Don't try to make me something that I'm not. All right, like Robin, uh, Robin's Hood over there trying to make me into the devil. Well, he's the devil. <laughs> Gemini boy. Okay? Double-minded Gemini. Robin Henry Tease. Robin's Hood. Go over and listen to the babble that comes out of his mouth. Listen to Henry Tease. Robin's Hood. Go over and listen to the babble that comes out of his mouth. Listen to his interpretation of Scripture, and you'll understand what I'm talk talking about. Yeah, go listen to my interpretation of the Scripture. Little orphan Annie. The babble that comes out of my mouth. So just go type in Vicar of Lucifer here in this planet. Out of four billion searches, that's more than half the people on the planet. If you just type that in, I mean, right on the first page, really, you have Vicar of Lucifer here. So what shows up? This is something when people type this in. A vicar of Lucifer would be the top guy from Satan. Satan hiring vicar uh, Lucifer as the vicar of Lucifer. So that's the top guy in this planet. And if you just scroll down and read about it here in the uh, United States, Luciferians get paid to gang stalk and persecute people all over the United States. I've, I've definitely been a, a, a victim of that and cyber stalking. Mentally terrorize their victims, or at least mentally they try to. And electronic pulse weapons, that kind of thing, buzzing. My whole body's buzzing. So then you'll get the top Luciferian in the United States is a man by the name of Stephen James and Sean. So if you got the top, I guess this video is about let it sink in. If you got the top Luciferian, not the, not the second in charge, not the third, not the lowest man of the totem pole, but you have the top in the United States. 
is a man that cannot keep my name off of his tongue. So who does that make me? So I mean, right on the same page, first page, nail in the coffin. If you type in Vicar of Lucifer. Okay, this was not connected to Stephen James to Sean's name. Now, would you look at that? Back on December 17th, almost four years ago, Who's that? I've been trying to tell you this, Rob. I'm so glad you're seeing it now. What a Christmas gift. My friend is back. Praise Jesus. I post that back in March. Remember? No, not really. Wow, I found this video now because you uploaded part two. When I saw part two, I figured I should go watch part one. And then this is just twisted, man. It's right, Basaholic. I want to... I want to know where this information came from. I know you found it online, but I mean, where did the person that published the article get it? Oh, Steve, he made sure that it was published about him. How do they know? Or the information is correct, then what makes them so special to have this type of information clearance? That's deep. A shame of Detroit and Michigan. He is devil looking. Father, protect your child. I've been praying so much for you. Really, I never even heard of this channel. I don't even remember the name. You don't know how delighted I am to hear this. Rob, we all have past but are new in Christ. Love you, brother. Hallelujah. Well, this was almost four years ago. So out of four billion searches, Stephen James here, who, who's just a constant Robin Henry T. is robbing this, robbing, 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 robbing. The purpose of the to operate managers, Cabal was partly developed in Jewish folks. Loves on unholy. Here I, am, here I am using this book again. Stephen James' son is the son of the serpent. So it's like, what are you supposed to believe here? He's the king of king, lord of lords, or the son of the serpent. Or is Jesus' name I bind Satan and force the evil men? Or who is King David, lion of Judah and slayer of Goliath? King of kings, lord of lords, Stephen James to Sean. He is the cornerstone that the builders rejected. So how do you take the good that's being said and, and ignore then, all the evil? And then the bad that's being said. Steve There we go, this should be a good one. They never stop. I'm just joking, this site's just for fun. Robin Henry Tees. Okay, now that you got a background of who Stephen James and Sean really is and why he actually loves that being up there, just know that all of his videos are about anybody who's exposing him. He rebukes me. Well, it was really only I was exposing him. Anybody else that comes against him is like hired by him or them or whoever, you know, the group to come against them to make it look, you know, legit. But he really, four years ago, was before 2019 when I started to get on John the Click, the beast right here in Revelation, Stephen James to Sean, the beast that has a, a wounded head now and did live, he, he came up first. He came after me. He is the vicar of Lucifer, and he's the only one. So I don't see any other name. When you type in vicar, of, just vicar of Lucifer, you only have to type in Stephen James or Sean, vicar of Lucifer, just type in vicar of Lucifer, and it'll take you to Stephen James or Sean. It'll let you know who is that person. And then over here, 
this is nonstop. Somebody who's the top guy out of 4 billion searches in the planet Earth comes up to Stephen James and my name just rolling, rolling, rolling. Don't try to make me something that I'm not. All right, like Robin, uh, Robin's Hood over there trying to make me into the devil. Yeah, so as of September 23rd, 2022, this was back in December 17th, 2018. So it's almost four years ago. Nothing stopped. It's it's the same. Rotten Pie is obsessed with me. Every Robin's Hood video. There I am. There I am. There I am. Tyler, there you are. There I am. Here I am again. He's saluting somebody else. But At a Yahoo. Here, this is what happens to gang stalking victims. There I am. There I am. There's his Illuminati. There's Tyler again exposing him because he's exposed or he's trying to expose him as a liar. But this is the true liar right here. Obsession. 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 The lying son of disobedience will eat crow. Yeah, I'm sure it's about me. The Texas, Philly, and New York Jewish mafia. That's just for the we're robbery. We're all connected together. Son of Cain. She is called the Lady of Kingdom, Ishtar. Keep digging. You can see what I'm watching, Steve. Jonathan Vargo, click. Can't see it all. Just part of it. Well, yeah, because I didn't even... As of December 17th, I wasn't getting on Click just yet. I was warming up to him. I'm hearing about him. I wanted to see your singing. You suck. Uh, we're all going to die in Adam. Okay. You keep calling him with his bitch bun. Well, I don't think Jesus Christ talks like that. The liar, Henry. Oh, you got some new ones? Okay. I found Jesus for you, Robin, Tyler, and Justin. Justin, you guys created the lies answer and verify them so the only one i don't see on here is barb but he already made something about her anyway. this one here making up a fake account and then saying that i'm paying this person that i i blocked immediately because you're you're trying to play that game steve all your so there's that. What do you, what happens when you type in this? It's just some more information about them. About, about the Luciferian way. So even when you go on that, it'll show you right here, top Luciferian United States is a man by name, Stephen James Sean. It's not the second in charge Luciferian United States. It's not the third man in the totem pole. It's not the last guy. It's the top guy. It's Stephen James. And for those of you that can't see it and you're part of it, like you're part of the group from the inside that can't see what Steve is actually doing, why my name would be rolled off this time. You may think of it in the opposite. You may think something terrible is going to happen. But really what's going to happen terrible is the what he had brilliantly, what the top Luciferian United States has brilliantly planned is getting ready to, to be fulfilled when everybody flees to the mountains, because they're all fleeing. They're, they're getting ready to, nuclear war's coming, guys. Just want to let you know. Just want to let you know it's on its way. I've been trying to mind people of, of that same situation. Here, back on, back on this day right here. Back on Sunday, April 9th, 2017, I'm telling you about this nuclear war. Are you going to turn off the power grid at a certain point? 
We're going to be bombed by Russia. So Russia, Russia is the first name. Obviously, I didn't say Vladimir Putin, but he's the, he's the ruler. So I'm telling you that my main point is America will be bombed by Russia. And then you're going to have North Korea and or China from the west side, the west coast of California. So I'm thinking of the four corners of the earth. I had no idea about Derek Rose's four corner, uh, thing at the, at that time where people were heading down to the desert. But the fake news media, that's why I started my YouTube channel. I started it for Bowie, Bowie Merlin's fake news. So this was just the other day I screenshotted this. I made a comment, I think on, um, I forget what channel, whoever, doesn't matter. But I was right about something. You said it all right there, Bowie Merlin's fake news. It's all fake news, people. It's all fake news. Bowie Merlin's fake news. Yep, yep, you said it. So Steve calls me a beast. He says I'm part of the gang stalking corporation, 9666. But the reality is, my kid's mom, we had the car together in our name. And she finally signed it over. And her, she has four sixes in her social security number, but three of them are in a row. So basically what I'm saying is this is government issued. And they just gave me in the mark of the beast uh, license plate. There. Take that caption, Steve. So far, the first page. What's the first thing here? Click on it. Vicar of Lucifer. There you go. Look at that. Stephen James Sean. So, it's... 100% true. There's no way of getting around it any other way. Stephen James, uh, he said, I have a Swiss bank account. I haven't been able to tap into that yet. He just said, I have a bag of, would you say crypto or Bitcoin or something? So apparently I have these things, but I don't. I don't have access to them just yet, but I will. I guess I'm part of the royal family. Maybe, maybe I was a uh, Adopted by a different family. They didn't want to tell me. Who knows? But either way, I'm adopted into this family here, even if I wasn't, because I adopted them into my, into my family. The top, uh, you know, the top Luciferian in the United States. He wouldn't run the planet. I have ado uh, adopted them because I realized that they run the planet. Yeah, they lie nonstop. The, uh, the, the Luciferian uh, group, the crowd. Yeah, they do cyber stalk their victims for sure. Yeah, they definitely persecute people all over the all over the planet there. So that's what I did. I typed it in. You can type it in for yourself. Out of four billion searches. Stephen James is the only one that comes up. And even when you click on it, one of my videos is right here. So that means out of 4 billion people, I'm connected directly to, oh, what'd you say, Steve? All right, like Robin, uh, Robin's hood over there trying to make me into the devil. Well, he's the devil. Here, let's just tap on. So far, I clicked on all of them. Down here is my video. Here, Steve shows him. Uh, let's let's click on the second one. Victor Lucifer Minds. Page to a different website. It's not just one. Vicar of Lucifer back in 2018, June 19, 2018. And there you go. Top Luciferian United States by a name, a man named Stephen James Deshaun. He lives in Michigan. So there's no other name besides his. That's it. 
just go to the second page with 20 million searches on the second page and you'll see my video pop up again and and again uh, and then and then again so 20 million people searched this in but he already made something about her and anyway. there i am a vicar of lucifer 2 let me finish reading the rest of this there i am again because it won't be up anymore after this so uh his lies talking about steve and james and sean this is what this public this public record is when you type in vicar of lucifer but and then go down here again my enemy vicar of lucifer and so this was this morning this is even before oh later on august 2nd 2019 pretty much from this point on i was heading off i was heading off to jonathan click because how it goes is you got the beast and then you get the false prophet and then you got the one that causes all to worship the other. And then when they worship the other, the first beast whose head was wounded, and he's like top guy, but his time's up as a deputy because here's how I see it. The vicar of Lucifer is somebody that's second, second in charge. That's why... When you're second charge, you're the, you're the deputy of the sheriff. So then the sheriff, being Lucifer as Satan, but then when you juxtaposition or when you move your position down, truly the sheriff is the most high God. And his deputy is Lucifer. His deputy is Satan. But Satan will stretch that and take the most high God's uh, place because he will exalt his throne, he will be like the most high God, and he will say he's God. And so when he does that, then he's the sheriff. And then he hires somebody to to be him, which is Lucifer, to be second in charge. But really, he is second in charge because he's the, the deputy hired by the sheriff, which is the most high God. But you, everything goes down one step when the most high God shows up. driving to work so I leave at six stalker King Henry now put the shit talking liar and I got your number Robin and you are no king you are a prince of darkness Robin's hood the shit talking liar has gone into panic mode paid online stalker King Henry now Jonathan Cleck, does this does this um, remind you of something about what Jonathan Cleck says? Robin Hood, Jonathan Cleck, Stephen James, Sean. They're taking it from one. They're robbing Peter to pay Paul. Okay, they're robbing Peter to pay Paul. And you see what? Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not like it's not like Jonathan Cleck doesn't know. Who I am, even uh, even back in even back in the beginning of 2020, from Depot. But he already made something about her. Anyway. Back in September, December 17th, 2018. And then it was about six months later, it was Cleck's turn. So from the beginning, in June of 2019, was a good two years, 
since I started YouTube, being persecuted by Stephen James here. And he continued, he hasn't stopped, but I just focused more on on uh, his partner there. Uh, Bitcoin collapse, uh, it says, be think about what would happen if, they're, if, if they got everybody to start investing in crypto and then they created a catastrophe. Or then a catastrophe came. What about all those people that pumped all their money into crypto that are going to be, that could die? What happens to the money that's just sitting in their crypto accounts? It's going right in your possession. And when they all do that and they flee from the fear of the noise, after I already warned them not to, before my seven days after my YouTube channel started about fleeing to the United States, escaping radiation, now that I've shared to you that the world's no longer citizen, now we have World War III rumors, let me now share with you where Messiah Yeshua prophesied of nuclear war in the Gospels. As I Nuclear war. You're saying the Messiah prophesied about nuclear war in the Gospels? So without even hopping on YouTube and even knowing anybody at all, seven days after I first started, what I'm talking about here is uh, Shiloh and power grid being turned off and being nuked and Russia doing it. But not that they're actually doing it, but they will be blamed for it, especially if an asteroid comes in and hits Philly, but they say it's a nuke instead of just an asteroid, so you won't get a straight answer. But either way, it's about nuclear war here in America. And I prophesied it five years ago and five months and some change. Explain in this video. I'm going to bring it through more and I'm going to elaborate more on this. Now, let me share with you from that video where Yeshua prophesied of nuclear war. There. And of course, in order to bring about a new world order, or even to bring about a financial collapse, the only way to do it is with either A, a nuclear device striking somewhere in the United States, or B, it could be a meteorite. Now, oddly enough, with that being said, and all this threat of nuclear weapons being used, maybe that's the whole reason everybody's worried about the 24th of September. Don't know the answer to that. Well, today's the 24th of September. And um, I remember where I was at in September 24, 2022 at 2.41 p.m. Right here. Nothing happened anywhere. Just yet. Diverse places. This map, these, these, these targets, these are nuclear targets in just the USA alone. These are the top targets. And these are in various or diverse places throughout the earth. France has them. Great Britain has them. Germany has them. Wherever uh, nuclear arms are stockpiled, those countries and decision centers have are targeted by Russia. So you better believe that this is what Messiah Yeshua was talking about. And he said, great seismos. So now let me go ahead and pull up the Strong's Concordance for that word earthquakes. And I'll prove to you that that earth, word earthquakes is seismos, which means shock waves. So here is the Greek word, strong G4578. The Greek word is seismos, which is the word that you get for seismograph. 
That's why it's translated as earthquakes, but it, but uh, also it also is a, a shaking, a tempest, an earthquake, but it's also the word that we get for shockwave. A shockwave is a seismos through the atmosphere when nuclear bombs are detonated. So Messiah Yeshua is prophesying of nuclear war, nuclear targets in diverse places. Now see, in the middle of the United States, it looks like there's there's no, like especially in this area here, over here, around this area, this area. So basically it's like in the middle of the United States. And so you got this area here. Looks like some of this area was cleared. Top here, some of this area. So right around that area from here to here. So from this side of Texas up and then over. And then so it's basically it's like Texas around this area here, so right around up in this area here and over. So if you flee somewhere in the middle of the United States, you can you can flee down down here, just keep going. And you can flee to the mountains. Right? Why would you do that? going on the atmosphere, and that's going to cause famine, okay, and then it's going to cause pestilence, disease, because of the nuclear fallout that's going to be going on. So nuclear fallout. Nuclear fallout consists of, of, press top, warning, we'll have, we'll have a warning from our fake news media which will tell us to escape to the middle of the United States to escape radiation. So somewhere around the middle of the United States brings you to, you know, like Mount Rushmore. Map here looks like it's more clear to get to the middle of the United States to escape radiation from nuclear fallout. So that's why you have seals number two, which is the nuclear war in the book of Revelation. You have seal number Radiation. three, which is going to be famine because the U.S. and the Russia are going to trade and the grain exports are going to stop. It's going to cause the price of grain to go up and famine for wheat. And then seal number four is going to be pestilence because it's going to rain down pestilence and there's going to be... There's going to be radiation and nuclear fallout poisoning after this, possibly. And that's going to be pestilence and then dead bodies Five and a half be years later. everywhere. And that's going to breed to more pestilence. So that's what you have. Seals 2, 3, and 4. There you have it. Messiah Yeshua was talking about that right here in Luke. Possibly. And that's going to be pestilence and be pestilence because it's going to rain down pestilence. And there's going to be... There's going to be radiation and nuclear fallout poisoning after this, possibly. And that's going to be pestilence. And then dead bodies are going to be everywhere. And that's going to breed to more pestilence. So that's what you have. Seals 2, 3, and 4. There you have it. Messiah Yeshua was talking about that right here in Luke. So great earthquakes. When the nuclear bombs come through the, 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 uh, the, the missile shields, it's going to send, when they go off, they're going to send great seismos, great shock waves of huge bombs going off. Portal or a door that will open up to people to exit. Sure happens at the end. There might be a supernatural escape at the beginning. I can't guarantee it. I can't say for certain. And by supernatural escape, I kind of think that there's going to be like a portal or a door that will open up to people to exit. And if it opens up to you, if it does appear, don't look door, back door. for a loved one. Don't door, look door, back door, door. For an older child that's not saved, don't that it doesn't look open for them. 
Don't look back for who it doesn't open for. Go forward. Don't look back at the destruction like Lot's wife. Go through the door. But I can say that the first resurrection and the rapture that's spoken about with the first resurrection, that event happens in the year of the redemption, which is the year of Jubilee, which is the 70th Jubilee. And right now I'm projecting that 70th Jubilee to be either 2025 or 2024. That's still uncertain. It could creep up on us. We might not even know, but more than likely... I did run across this particular tweet, though, and I thought it was kind of interesting to, to see the look on Zelensky's face when President Trump had made a comment to him a little while back. I figured it would be worth playing for you guys so you can see that for yourself. Listen to what uh, Trump says, but especially watch Zelensky's face. Putin. I really hope that you and President Putin get together Bomb. and can solve your problem. That would be a Nuke. tremendous achievement, and I know you're trying to do that. In America. <laughs> Uh, he didn't like very much, I think, what, what uh, Donald Trump had to say there. TV heaven. There. And, of course, as he said, he was trying to do that. Um, I'd probably have to agree with him. Maybe there would be no war, but you, you, never, know. Truth you never know, right? By design. Syrian girl um, just put out this on her Twitter page there. And the top targets, and these are in various or diverse places throughout the earth. France has them. Great Britain has them. Germany has them. Wherever uh, nuclear arms are stockpiled, those countries and decision centers have are targeted by Russia. So you better believe. How did I know? I mean, I don't even know. Five years, six years ago? What made me think Russia was going to bomb us first? According to the script. That I'm telling you is TV bombs from TV heaven. So... What kind of power has, what kind of, who has that kind of power? Just go to theaters, watch the best destructive war and action movies and ask yourself, you can see it. You can tell the difference. Trump started the saying, it's fake news. It's all fake news. Berlin, Bowie Merlin's fake news. 70 weeks or 77ths, I should say, are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city to make an end of sin to make reconciliation for iniquity, to bring in everlasting righteousness, and to anoint the most holy. There's probably one other thing, to make an end of sin, to make atonement for iniquity. Okay? So there's a lot that has to be done in 77s. Now, everybody's, everybody's interpreted that verse to be 70 uh, uh, weeks, as in seven years, weeks. So four. Well, it could be from... Nation of Israel becoming a nation again. 70 years from that point on, and then 70. Uh, 70 years and then seven times. So it's 70 times seven, which would be 77 years. But 77 years would land on in 2025. Unless you, the, unless you want to count for 1947 with Israel back in, I think, November or something. And that would bring you to 2024. So if it started in 2017, 24, the judgment, and then finally everything's clean. But that means for the next couple of years, as soon as this catastrophe happens, and, and if it has my name attached to it, then I'm able to be part of that for the next two years, turning, turning people back because there's absolute proof that there it is now. You can keep denying uh, my role from how God sent me here to, to warn you, but eventually you're gonna you're just gonna cave and, and give up because you got until the year twenty twenty four to for the world to be purified and cleansed. Wandering star Venus. In addition, in two thousand and twenty in December. On this winter solstice, we saw another possible messianic sign in the heavens. Four full days. Look, this is the crowning, apparently. April 2nd, 2027. December 25th, 2020. My 1,364th day. 
subtract the one day, 1,364 to Enoch calendars, one out, or at 1,364 days, so 65 was the next. On the 24th, 2020. Jonathan Clark would like to give the whole world a, a Christmas present. This is it, before the fire. I want to just first extend a happy celebration of the birth of the Messiah Day. Um, I am working on a Christmas present for everybody. Um, One day before? 629, 26 seconds. The explosion scale. 6. 29, 28th, June 29th, 28th. That was Don Aaron, by the way. So Aaron was sent. We do believe that the explosion was an intentional act. Don, Don Trump, Donald Trump, Aaron. Police released this photo of the vehicle they believe was responsible for the blast, which was caught on surveillance driving to the area. Officers responded to the scene after receiving a call about shots fired. Once on the scene, officers heard a recorded warning coming from the RV to evacuate now. In other words, it gave him time to get out. 24th. Well, I know it's backwards on this phone, doing it like this, but it's December 24th, 2020, 7.56 p.m. And I've seen the vision of the... Breaking news this Christmas morning from Nashville, an explosion that has rocked downtown Nashville, sent heavy black smoke and flames into the sky. Emergency crews right now are on the scene. Well, and it would be between a six hour and a ninth hour darkness. Three damage done to the surrounding building. So uh, there were people out in the street. Luckily, there weren't uh, more people injured this morning uh, from, you know, when you consider all the videos that right. you see on yeah, social media. We understand that this happened at 6.30 a.m. That comes from the Nashville Police Department's Twitter account. But I must tell you that I am sure that law enforcement are planned for these kinds of unfortunate activities, the area. And so we will at some stage see the actual explosion itself, I believe, explosion. and also... There may very well be other clues of who six. Uh, bought that uh, supposedly uh, uh, right. you know, Ted, I'm second in Commerce Street. Uh, there's a number of bars. It looks like sort of a, a pedestrian walk. Uh, Just hear a, a, an explosion. This afternoon, President-elect Joe Biden thanked emergency workers who responded to the Christmas explosion that heavily damaged part of downtown Nashville. Aside from a White House statement Friday morning thanking first responders, President Trump has yet to comment publicly on the suspected suicide bombing. And seeing few casualties with an explosion of that size is uh, amazing. It's a gift. It's a little bit of a Christmas a miracle in a way. But Christmas gift. Clex gift. Second in commerce. Darkness from the sixth to the ninth hour. You know, roundabout smoke was rising up as they showed you 9-11 in the uh, in the in the, the clock. This dramatic video showing the RV exploding, <clears throat> shattering windows, damaging more than 40 storefronts and injuring at least eight people. But none of them. None of them. Seriously. Seriously. That way, the location on Christmas morning in the middle of a global pandemic sets the device to explode at 630, giving people 15 minutes to get out with an at some time to make sure that the area was clear. 
And uh, Watch out. so I'm. <laughs> it gives time to get everybody out of there. Like a 15 minute heads up recording in the RV so you can get out of there. And maybe those buildings don't. Maybe. We And then those are those little tibbets, those little, uh, put a, he put his fingerprint on it as if there, I was there, that worked. I, I know I'm hearing click clearly. Surveillance footage that captured an audio warning playing from the parked RV in the moments leading up to the blast. A second angle shows the deadly force damage across multiple city blocks. Phone communications knocked out. Tonight, the FBI confirms DNA from human remains recovered at this crime scene belongs to Warner. His exact motive remains a mystery. And tonight... It was rebuild it. Federal help for rebuilding. This video, you can see the plume of smoke coming up from downtown Nashville. You mentioned second in commerce. This is all about references. Everything in this title was referenced. We see the horn of the ox horns, the bull's horns, were anointed by Venus, and it was an exact. Uh, the, the most perfect path happened here in 2020. No water. July 8th, 2020. No water. Minute 30. Water. Water running. Go down the Gennady. Like needs to show me something. Water stop. 848. Barack Obama. Reddit. Be still. 2020. So with that all being said, we saw many messianic signs in the heavens regarding this planet or this wandering star, Venus. In addition, in 2020, in December, on this winter solstice, we saw another possible messianic sign in the heavens. You need to put up the banner then. And December then I was 19th. trying to get us, you know, me and like I said, I have friends from different... December 19th. 2020. When we got together, we're all going to go have dinner. And so I said, you know, I was trying to get us in a restaurant. And oh, I could say instead of coming down, when we got together, we're all going to go have dinner. It's like, oh my gosh, that's insane. So I knew, gosh, that's insane. So I knew, I knew to put up the banner then. I raised my banners on December uh, 21st, 2020. December 21st. 2020, December 21st, 2020. And then I was trying to get us, you know, me and, like I said, I have friends from different states that have come in town. When we got together, we're all going to go have dinner. And so I said, you know, I was trying to get us in a restaurant. I'm just going to say this to Clay. Up my, um, my signs on the 21st of 2020. You got... Because you know what? Satan's match. Satan met his match in that year. 